Hey, uh, readers SDM. Really, really lucky just recently to have the opportunity to shoot a large marlin in my local waters. Fish ended up weighing around 138 kilos, just around that 300 pound mark. Uh, it's a great privilege to be able to spend time in the water with that fish and then also be able to take it. Uh, for me, such an honor. A fish like that, uh, for myself, uh, is a fish that if I'm gonna shoot it, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna eat it. Uh, when we got home that afternoon, uh, we weighed that fish at the local Redcliffe Co-op and bought five, uh, four boxes of ice, sorry, and uh, we covered the fish with ice, got it home, I had it iced, when I got it home we filleted it, and I shared that, that uh, fillets with around 20 or 30 families uh, here locally, my friends and my neighbours, and also a whole bunch of people at church as well. Uh, that fish tasted fantastic and uh, many families were really happy eating that fish. Got in, I'd been in the water for maybe 30, 40 seconds when the school surgeons I was swimming above all of a sudden just scattered a million miles an hour. I heard a massive crack on the bottom and I looked down and a shark was coming at me 100 miles an hour. I flipped on my camera thinking, well, this could make some great footage. By the time I got my camera sorted, looked back down, there was three and they were on top of me. One came so close in front of me, I had to push away at it. Another one came in around behind uh, the back of me and they started just circling uh, from thinking this is gonna make great footage to wow, I might need to call out to the boat. All of a sudden, one of them came right in behind me and I spun around, gave him a quick jab and he was looking like he wanted to grab me on the fins and as I spun around to have a look at him, I looked past him for a second and this is when I saw the marlin. It was right in behind those sharks and it was on the surface right behind me. Focused on it for a split second but another shark came right in at my face and I had to jab it away. When I looked back, uh, the marlin had turned and started headed off and I could see it off in the distance so I remembered something someone told me years ago. Big marlin don't like being intimidated so swim at them really hard and you'll get them to come back at you. I swam it as hard as I could and it worked because all of a sudden I saw this marlin coming straight at me. To be honest, it was very intimidating. Uh, it happened so quick that fortunately I didn't really have time to think about that. All I had time was I need to do a one fish stone. Remembering the DVD of one fish and, and that big marlin that was stoned, I pulled the trigger. Unfortunately, no stone shot. And then I realized it's time to call for the boat because this fish is going to take off. It lifted its spines, dropped its pecs, and headed for New Zealand. It really all just happened so quickly. Uh, from the moment I saw that shark through to when I shot the, the marlin, really it was only around 20, 25 seconds. And uh, for me, it just took being focused, making sure I was ready for my shot, and um, obviously keep those sharks out of my face. So I put the belt reel through the handle of the gun. By the time I got that all sorted, I had about 10 metres of line left on my reel. So I just clicked off to my reel line and held on for a tow, which to be honest was really exciting. You know, it was probably the hardest part of the, of the whole experience was, was that getting towed through the water. I also remembered during that tow that that morning I'd shot a, a jewfish and three sharks had eaten it. They dragged me through the water, they'd scuffed up my line, bent my spear, so I was also worried about my line breaking. To top that off, everyone knows I'm not the greatest of, of uh, gear maintenance and quite often my gear leaves a little to be desired. Uh, fortunately, I had you know a, a great uh, buddy with me. I had Rick Pachua from Aimrite, and uh, he's a great guy to have on the water with you. Uh, many years of, of naval experience, and uh, I called him over. He raced over. Uh, he went and actually picked up the boys, came flying back through. Uh, Travis Hogan, also from Aimrite, who was with us, uh, threw him in the water, and Josh Ball.
Trav and Josh were in the water, I got towed past them so quickly. Uh, it was quite amazing how fast that fish was actually towing. Trav jumped back in the boat and Rick, Rick dropped him up ahead. After about 10 minutes into the fight, the fish had started to tire and I asked Travis to put a, a second shot in, which he did. So I grabbed uh, Josh's gun, dropped down, took a uh, second shot and uh, fortunately hit it just an, an inch above my first shot and stoned it outright. Uh, it went vibrant blue. From there I noticed Travis' second shot just in the tail. I gave it a quick yank and it fell out and I actually turned to the surface and had a chuckle. When I first asked him if it was a good shot, his answer probably should have given it away in the first place. But uh, brought it to the surface and uh, from there we were pretty excited. A few high fives going around and then the big question of how do I get this fish into the boat. I have a 16 foot Hanes. Fortunately again I had Rick Bature with me and his naval skills tied a knot. We dragged it in, boys up on the nose and it came in the back of the boat quite easily. Fuck me! Donkey! I thought it was like 50 kilos! You! Yeah! I thought it was a little one. Like I thought it was good fish but I didn't think it was that big. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome! That was a stone shot, the second thing. I wasn't far off the stone here the first time, eh? Crap! That's big! How are we gonna get that in the boat? Mate, I almost got eaten by a shark and I shot it. I, I was there and I'd seen this massive force and bait takes off everywhere. I'm like, what the hell was that? And three sharks were almost taking my fins off, three sharks were going nuts, and then I turn around, I'm like, poke one, poke another, get my camera on, poke another one, look out, this marlin just goes straight at me, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there decided it was time to head home after some pretty good high fives uh, we shot in and processed the fish from there.